It's a crisis affecting everyone in the state, and it is showing no signs of slowing down. Reservations have been hit hard. With limited resources, staying on top of the fires is difficult. Esther Bauer takes our Firewatch coverage inside the Wellpinnick community as crews work to get the Sherwood fire under control. The Sherwood fire has already burned over 1,100 acres and still burns today. It's just one of the fires contributing to one of the most destructive wildfire seasons in Washington. We are at a crisis right now and the end of July isn't even here. A crisis of barren wastelands, dead trees and destroyed livelihoods. It'll kill the ground and burn all the timber and People make livings off of all that stuff that it's burning. Frank Bayer can't go home right now. The fire is just too close. He's lived in Wellpinit for 64 years and just hopes he'll have something to return to. Still losing my home again would be, you know, what would I do? So far, more than 240,000 acres have burned in Washington, and more than 90% of the fires are caused by humans. The escalating fire crisis impacts everyone. Record-breaking heat and devastating droughts have made fighting these fires even harder. It's just too difficult for our folks to actually fight fire offensively during the day. So we've transitioned to more of a night offensive tactics. There's slightly more humidity when the sun goes down, so these teams rest during the day and attack at night. 30 families like Frank's can't go home today and well pin it, but this season everyone in Washington needs to be ready for the next wildfire. At this time of the year, under the conditions we're on, the whole Pacific Northwest should be under a level level one. Be ready. And one of the challenges teams here have been fighting are extremely steep conditions, making it harder for firefighters to get to the fire. They're working 16 hour shifts to get this fire under control. Reporting in Wellpinit, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.